So, this is the story of the iconic red dress. Every dress for a designer starts with a sketch, and we start to sketch, and then we decide what we like and what we don't like in the sketch, and then we start throwing fabrics down. So after I sketch a dress, I sketch out a pattern. Originally, the neckline was gonna be a lot higher, but we decided to go a little bit lower, and so this is the little bit lower. And then we do a mock-up. And this is a mock-up, and we fit the dress inside out so we can see the seams, seeing where things are loose and where things are tight, marking where the knees are, marking where the hem is. This week, we have one week until cast photo, and this looks almost like a complete dress, but there's still a lot to be done. All of the seams are not finished, and we have to do some little tucks here and there. We put in a zipper this week. And then this little thing is going to be the bustle. There's a little pocket where we're going to hide the bustle part. And then this will all be sewn down. This is fitting number four. So we've stitched all around all the openings. And we're, we're trying to figure out slit height so that the girls can kick. And then we've done a little bit more work in the back with the bustle. And then we have a fabulous, one-of-a-kind, hand-designed lace necklace dress. So the challenges of this dress is that the dollies are both different heights. But they're very similar in torso, but um, leg length is, is very different. So the underskirts are made, and as you can see, if we put this on Angie, it would be wouldn't even show. But um, we made underskirts to go for each one of the girls and that way it's custom to, to their fit. Now, I'd like to say that we're in the final step, but Cast Photo Day, we always have little tucks and darts that we have to do, but we finished with all of the beading and her custom lace designed necklace is done, and we've put a second layer of ruffles on her skirt, and if she can turn around here, you see the pins here. There's always something else to do, so we're going to be taking a couple of little tucks there, but other than that, she's gorgeous. She just needs to have her wig on and her long gloves.